Hey guys, Ivan here, and in today's video, we're gonna do something different, something very, very interesting. We're gonna do a pose for pose analysis, a comparison between Chris Baumstead and newly crowned Arnold Classic champion and potentially a challenger for the Mr. Olympia title, Wesley Wissers. Now, right off the bat, if I asked you who wins, Chris Baumstead or Wesley Wissers, everybody would say Chris Baumstead, it's not even close. I would think that myself, but it's not that black and white, it's not that simple, you're gonna see why in a moment. As all of you guys know already, Wesley Wissers just won the Iron Classic by beating Ramon Dino, it was a one-point decision, very very close battle, I would say it was kind of a apples and oranges type of scenario, I think it was so close in points, because the judges didn't know what should they go for, should they go for super classic golden era type of look, or for a more complete, more bodybuilder-esque type of physique, in the end most of them went with classic lines and they chose Wesley Wissers. So the point I'm trying to make is, they didn't know what they're looking for before this Arnold Classic, but if they decided that the new criteria from now on in Classic Physique is gonna be having as classic lines as possible. Now, Chris Bumstead vs. Ramon Dino, I thought this was actually pretty close, in terms of they both look pretty similar, they could both do very well in open bodybuilding as well, if they added some size. Yeah, sure, you can say Chris Bumstead is a little bit more classic, but Ramon also has pretty good lines, Chris is just crazy complete and has a really beautiful structure, but I think it's pretty safe to say that Wesley Wissers has more of those classic lines. He really has that golden era type of look, he really looks like a classic bodybuilder from the 60s, 70s or 80s, right? But he is also very tall, very massive, now he brings conditioning as well with great fullness, so if he can repeat this conditioning, this peak, and maybe improve his physique a little bit, and if this decision swayed the judges in that way, that they decided to go for more classic lines in the future, then maybe, just maybe, Wesley could have a chance against Chris Bumstead. Alright, now let's get into it, let's start with the first mandatory classic pose, front double bicep, and let's compare these two guys. So what do we see here? In my opinion, right after a small waist and great V taper, a good classic physique should have massive arms. And Wesley has arms for days, his arms are pretty ridiculous, especially those biceps, those peaks are crazy, they're also very long muscle bellies, but the peaks go super high, they are probably the closest biceps to Arnold Schwarzenegger's, so those biceps are really good, so Wesley definitely has Chris in the arms department. And now, if you talk about V taper, yes, Chris definitely has a smaller waistline, but look at Wesley's lats. I think they're popping out a little bit more. My eyes go straight to the waist, so I can definitely see that Chris's waist is smaller, but with those freaking lats and those arms, I mean, Wesley has like more of a pop upstairs. He is simply more impressive, he has more of that wow factor, and also he's taller and bigger, so he's gonna look more dominant on that stage next to Chris. Now, where Chris is beating Wesley is definitely in the lower body department, Chris's legs are really good, and just structurally, they just really flow well with his upper body, so even though Wesley is super impressive, super wow, in that upper body, I don't know if it's gonna be enough to beat Chris in this pose, but honestly, it's much closer than I would expect. Now, let's move on to the second mandatory pose, it is side chest, and this one is tough, like the previous one, so Chris has that width in the upper body, he really knows how to open up, to show both pecs, to show shoulder width, and also he has really good chest, like very separated, very wide, but then you look at Wesley, and his chest could be potentially bigger, his arms most certainly are, and overall, he's just a bigger man, he's taller, so he's packing more muscle, and his legs don't look that bad in the side poses. I would say Chris has more details, but Wesley has more of that wow factor. So honestly, I'm not sure who wins this one. It's a tie if you ask me. Now let's move on to the back double bicep, check out the transition here. They're very good at this, both of them, they really know how to transition in a classic way to show some poses that are not mandatory in the transition. But I guess mandatory poses are worth more points. Now, 
As far as the back double bicep, let's say second most important pose, if you want to see the entire physique where you can't really hide a lot of your flaws, in this one, it's pretty similar case to front double bicep, like Wesley has that crazy pop in the upper back and also the shoulders and the arms, but Chris just flows better in this one, his lower lats are just really prominent, he really knows how to hit this pose, and also like the glutes, the size in the glutes and the details, and the hamstrings as well, and the way his legs are, the size of the legs and the way they flow with the upper body, I give this one to Chris, I just have to. But not by far, we'll see in person what it's gonna look like, again, if it is the same conditioning for Wesley, you know, with his size, with his height, and with his wow factor, it's gonna be interesting. Now, unfortunately for all the Wesley fans, we come to his worst pose, it's the absentize pose, this pose he loses against pretty much everybody, at least in the top of the Mr. Olympia, so it's gonna cost him a couple of points. His waist, once again, is not the smallest, when he flexes it right here, when he flexes the abs, the obliques pop out more, and his taper goes a little bit too wide in the hips, maybe he can change that by learning how to suck the air in, because just look at how much his waist size changes once he hits the vacuum. So that is something that can be improved for the Mr. Olympia, but as for right now, from what we saw at the Arnold, Chris definitely destroys him in both of these variations of the abs and thighs, vacuum pose and abs flexed. And finally we get to the favorite classic pose, and both of these guys have like a couple of really classic poses, it's hard to judge this pose if it's not the same one, but basically they both look really classic in all these variations, even most muscular, very comparable, but there is one pose they both did in their routines, so we're gonna choose that one and analyze that one, compare it, so it's a front single bicep pose, uh, Chris has his arm behind his head and Wesley has uh, one hand on the hip, so it's not exactly the same one, but it's very similar, we can't really compare it, but what we can look at is who is more classic, Chris Bumstead or Wesley Wissers, and honestly, I would probably go and say that Wesley is arguably more classic, and in some poses like this one, he can make his waist look smaller, that is his flaw, but nobody has zero flaws, even Chris has a flaw, his arms obviously, he did improve them significantly, especially for the last Mr. Olympia, but they are definitely gonna look weak next to Wesley's arms, and Wesley, you know, his legs and his waist are not his strongest parts, but he can probably make his legs look a little bit rounder, maybe, maybe add some more details, glutes as well, and maybe he can learn how to suck air a little bit more and make his midsection look even smaller. I feel like Wesley came up big time this year for the Arnold, I don't think he ever looked this good, not even close, people are saying he was overlooked before, but I don't think so, I really don't think so, I feel like at the Mr. Olympia, in classic physique, popularity plays a big part, because there is way too many competitors up there, and if you're not popular, the judges will probably not notice you, they did notice Wesley, they gave him the opportunity, and he was 8th and then 7th at the Mr. Olympia, so he was compared against the top guys, but now, after he came together with conditioning, he's definitely gonna get even more attention, and he's definitely, I'm pretty sure he's gonna be compared to Chris Bumstead directly, and maybe, I think it's very possible to get a two-man call-out, Wesley Wissers and Chris Bumstead, but I guess it depends on the other guys as well, maybe Ramon can improve, I don't think he was at his best at this Arnold, and then also there is another thing, is Chris Bumstead even gonna compete this year? Personally, I think he will, I don't think Chris is gonna retire just like that, I think he's gonna retire on stage, so I think after he wins another title, or at least places second, I think he's gonna retire then, and as far as this year, I think he was a little bit worse last year than he was the year before, so maybe with all of his injuries, maybe he looks a little bit worse again, and Wesley improves a little bit more, so who knows, you know, it's not impossible that Wesley Wissers can win the Mr. Olympia, in this pose, in this favorite classic pose, I give this one to Wesley, because of his crazy lines, and big biceps, and just insanely golden era looking classic physique, overall we all know how incredible Chris Bumstead is, how complete he is, and he is most likely gonna win again, he is definitely the heavy favorite, but, you know, things might change this year, anything is possible guys, 
things are finally starting to look interesting in classic physique down below in the comment section guys tell me what do you think about this and if you enjoyed this video guys please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more content like this subscribe to my channel guys thank you so much for watching see you soon all the best and bye bye